Brazil is in mourning. The entire nation is enveloped in a profound sense of loss and sorrow. A legend has left us. Silvio Santos, a name synonymous with joy and entertainment, has departed this world, leaving behind a void that will be hard to fill. Silvio Santos, the man who brought laughter and joy to millions, passed away at 93. His infectious smile and charismatic presence were a staple in Brazilian households. He was battling pneumonia, a complication from the H1N1 flu. Despite his strong will and determination, the illness proved too much for even this titan of television. His family confirmed the news, leaving a nation heartbroken. The outpouring of grief from fans and admirers is a testament to the impact he had on so many lives. Silvio wasn't just a TV personality, he was an institution. His presence on television was a constant, a comforting figure who brought light into our lives. For over six decades, he graced our screens with his iconic smile and mischievous twinkle in his eye. His ability to connect with audiences of all ages was unparalleled. His Sunday night show, Programa Silvio Santos, was a weekly ritual for families across Brazil. It was a time when families gathered around the TV, sharing laughter and joy. He was our own king of television, a master showman who could captivate audiences with his charisma and generosity. His interactions with the audience were genuine and heartfelt. He threw money into the air, gave away prizes, and made dreams come true. His generosity knew no bounds, and he always found ways to give back to the community. Silvio's passing marks the end of an era, an era defined by his unique style, his ability to bring people together, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. He leaves behind a legacy that will be difficult, if not impossible, to match. His contributions to Brazilian television and culture are immeasurable, but his spirit, his laughter, and his love for Brazil will forever remain in our hearts. His memory will continue to inspire future generations of entertainers and dreamers. Silvio's journey began humbly. Born as Senor Abravanel, he started his career as a street vendor selling lottery tickets. His charm and wit quickly caught the attention of radio producers. From radio, he transitioned to television, where he found his true calling. His early shows were a hit, and it wasn't long before he became a household name. Beyond television, Silvio was a shrewd businessman. He built a media empire, including the SBT network, which remains one of Brazil's leading television networks. His philanthropic efforts were equally impressive. Silvio was known for his charitable work, always finding ways to give back to the community that supported him. Despite his fame, Silvio remained a family man. He cherished moments with his loved ones and often shared his success with them. His fans were his extended family. The love and admiration they showed him were reciprocated in every gesture, every smile and every show he hosted. Silvio's final public appearance was a poignant moment. As he waved goodbye, it was clear that he knew his time was coming to an end, but he faced it with the same grace and dignity that defined his life. His legacy is not just in the shows he hosted or the awards he won, but in the countless lives he touched. Silvio Santos will forever be remembered as a beacon of joy and a symbol of Brazilian culture. As we light candles and leave flowers in his memory, we celebrate a life well lived. Silvio Santos may have left us, but his spirit will continue to shine brightly in our hearts. Tribute events are being held across the country where people are sharing stories and memories of the man who brought so much happiness into their lives. Silvio Santos has found his final resting place, but his legacy will live on. Rest in peace, Silvio. You will be dearly missed, but never forgotten. Silvio Santos wasn't born into wealth and privilege. His story began in the heart of Rio de Janeiro. Born Senor Abravanel in 1929, he was the son of Sephardic Jewish immigrants. Life was tough. Young Senor, as he was known then, had to hustle. He started as a street vendor at the tender age of 14. His voice, strong and captivating, boomed across the bustling streets of Rio. He sold everything from pens to handkerchiefs. His talent couldn't be ignored. Fate intervened. Senor's powerful voice caught the attention of a radio announcer. He was invited for an audition. The rest, as they say, is history. Senor Abravanel, the street vendor, transformed into Silvio Santos, the rising radio star. His charisma and natural talent shone through the airwaves. Silvio's star was on the rise. He had found his calling and Brazil was ready to listen. The year was 1963. Brazilian television was about to change forever. Silvio Santos, already a radio star, took a leap of faith. He launched his own variety show, Programa Silvio Santos. The show was an instant hit. 
Silvio's charm, his playful nature, and his genuine connection with the audience were unlike anything on television. He wasn't just a host, he was a friend, a confidant, a part of the family. Programmer Silvio Santos became a Sunday tradition. Families gathered around their television sets, eager to be entertained. There were games, music, comedy, and of course Silvio's trademark giveaways. The show wasn't just about entertainment. It provided a platform for aspiring artists and launched the careers of countless Brazilian celebrities. Silvio had an eye for talent and a heart for giving back. Section 4. Building an Empire, SBT and the Business Acumen of Silvio Santos. Silvio Santos, a name synonymous with Brazilian television, is a figure whose influence extends far beyond the screen. His journey from a street vendor to a media mogul is a testament to his unparalleled business acumen and relentless drive. Silvio Santos was more than just a talented entertainer. He was a visionary who saw opportunities where others saw obstacles. His charisma and ability to connect with people made him a beloved television host, but it was his sharp business mind that truly set him apart. He was a shrewd businessman with a vision. Silvio's ability to foresee trends and adapt to changing markets allowed him to build a diverse portfolio of successful ventures. His knack for negotiation and strategic partnerships played a crucial role in his rise to prominence. His entrepreneurial journey began long before television with a struggling raffle business called Bauda Felicidade, or Chest of Happiness. This venture, which started as a modest raffle operation, was transformed by Silvio's innovative approach and relentless work ethic. Silvio saw its potential and transformed it into a massive success. He introduced new marketing strategies and expanded the product offerings, turning Bauda Felicidade into a household name. This success provided the financial foundation and business experience that would fuel his future endeavors. This venture laid the foundation for his future empire. The lessons learned and the capital earned from Bauda Felicidade were instrumental in Silvio's subsequent ventures. It was a stepping stone that showcased his ability to turn a simple idea into a thriving business. In 1981, he achieved a lifelong dream, launching his own television network, SBT, which stands for Sistema Brasileiro de Televisão. This was not just a business move, but a realization of Silvio's vision to create a platform that resonated with the Brazilian public. SBT became a reflection of Silvio's vision, a channel for the people, offering a mix of entertainment, news, and sports. The programming was designed to appeal to a wide audience, ensuring that there was something for everyone. This inclusive approach was key to SPT's rapid growth and popularity. It quickly became one of Brazil's most popular networks, challenging the established players. SPT's success was a testament to Silvio's understanding of his audience and his ability to deliver content that resonated with them. The network's rise disrupted the status quo and brought fresh competition to the Brazilian television landscape. Silvio's business acumen extended beyond television. He diversified his investments, ensuring that his empire was not reliant on a single industry. This strategic diversification helped him weather economic fluctuations and maintain his status as a leading entrepreneur. He invested in various industries, from cosmetics to hotels, each venture carefully chosen to complement his existing businesses and expand his influence. His ability to identify and capitalize on new opportunities was a hallmark of his career. Building a business empire that solidified his status as a true icon of Brazilian entrepreneurship. Silvio Santos's legacy is not just in the businesses he built, but in the inspiration he provided to countless aspiring entrepreneurs. His story is a powerful reminder that with vision, determination and a bit of showmanship, anything is possible. Section 5, More Than a Showman, the philanthropic heart of Silvio Santos. Behind the bright lights and the infectious laughter, there was a man with a heart of gold. Silvio Santos, a name synonymous with entertainment and joy, was also a beacon of hope and kindness for many. His journey from humble beginnings to becoming a television icon is well documented, but what often goes unnoticed is his unwavering commitment to philanthropy. Silvio Santos never forgot his humble beginnings. Born into a modest family, he understood the struggles of the less fortunate. This deep understanding and empathy for those in need fueled his desire to give back. His early life experiences shaped his character and instilled in him a sense of responsibility towards his community. 
He used his success to give back to the community that he loved so dearly. Silvio's rise to fame did not distance him from his roots. Instead, it strengthened his resolve to help others. He believed that his success was not just a personal achievement, but a tool to uplift those around him. His philanthropic endeavors were legendary, though often carried out discreetly. Silvio preferred to keep his charitable acts away from the limelight, focusing on the impact rather than the recognition. His contributions ranged from financial donations to personal involvement in various causes. He supported countless charities with a particular focus on children and education. Silvio believed that education was the key to breaking the cycle of poverty. He funded scholarships, built schools and provided educational materials to ensure that every child had the opportunity to learn and grow. Silvio believed that every child deserved a chance to succeed. He often said that investing in children was investing in the future. His initiatives aimed at creating a nurturing environment where children could thrive and reach their full potential. He was known for his generosity towards his employees, offering opportunities for growth and supporting their well-being. Silvio treated his employees with the same kindness and respect he showed to his family. He believed that a happy and motivated workforce was essential for success. Silvio understood that his employees were the backbone of his success and he treated them like family. He provided them with not just jobs but opportunities for personal and professional development. His leadership style was inclusive and compassionate, fostering a sense of loyalty and dedication among his staff. Silvio's philanthropy wasn't about publicity, it was about making a difference. He often visited hospitals, schools and community centres without any media presence, ensuring that his focus remained on the people he was helping rather than on garnering attention. He touched countless lives with his generosity, proving that true success is measured not just by wealth, but by the positive impact one has on the world. Silvio Santos's legacy is not just that of a showman, but of a compassionate human being who used his influence to bring about meaningful change. His story is a testament to